Hey yo, what's going on guys? So today we're gonna to be talking about close packing between atoms in a crystal structure and the differences between wurtzite and zinc blend structures. So let's set aside the social distancing for a second and let's get close to each other. Close packing refers to the most tightly packed or space efficient composition of crystal structures. This means that in order to maximize the efficiency of packing and minimize the volume of unfilled space, the spheres must be arranged as close as possible to each other. To demonstrate close packing, I'm going to be using pop cans. However, in space, these pop cans are going to be a spherical shape rather than this cylindrical shape. These pop cans are going to resemble the familiar anions that touch in close packing as they are often larger than cations. So close packing requires the least amount of empty space as possible. So if we were to arrange these cans in a square, we can see that there is a large empty space right in the middle. Instead, we can shift these two cans to fill that empty space, just like this. This is what resembles close packing. If we remember that each can resembles a sphere, with a single layer of cans, we can see that each can has six corresponding cans around it, forming what we call a hexagonal coordination. When we add secondary layers on top of the first, we are going to align them on top of the pop cans. But remember that in space, these are spherical shapes and not cylindrical shapes. Here we can see two layers with various holes passing through the array such as here, 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 in between each of the cans where there's minimal space. So there are two types of holes called interstitial sites in which the cation will fit in since it is very small compared to the anion. We will first resemble the cation as being this tiny gummy bear. So the first type of hole is the octahedral hole. This is when the cation has six near sphere neighbors to the atom. So if we represent the cation with the gummy bear, we can place him right in the center there. The gummy bear or cation is touching one, two, three, four, five, and six. This is what resembles an octahedral hole. The second type of hole is a tetrahedral hole. It's where the cation has four near sphere neighbors and it has two different variations. So the first variation is when the cation is rested right here in between one, two, three, and four anions. The second variation of the tetrahedral hole is when the anion is placed right here, where it is touching one, two, three, and four. When we add the third layer, placement of the anion does matter. For the third placement, we can place it directly over top of the first layer atoms. You can see the two crushes are directly in line. This means that this layer will match identically to the third layer up top. This is what we can describe as an ABA configuration. This ABA close packing is what we call a hexagonal close packed or HCP for short. The second option is placing the third layer in a position that is not symmetrical to any previous layer. So if we start the third layer right here, we can see that if you were to move this can down to the first layer, it would not match identically with this front can here as this can is a little pushed back. So this is what we can describe as an A, B, C layer ordering. As there are three non-eclipsed layers, leaving it staggered with respect to both previous layers. This A, B, C close packing is what we call cubic close packed or CCP. CCP can also be known as face centered cubic or FCC. So let's now take a look at two common crystals. So the first crystal that we're going to look at is Zinc Blend. Zinc Blend has an FCC configuration. Zinc Blend has a very similar structure layout to Diamond. However, Diamond is made out of only carbons and Zinc Blend is made out of zinc and sulfur ions. 
So we're going to start off with this cubic structure since we know that the configuration is an FCC. We know that there's going to be anions on each of the vertices and on each of the faces. For each of the corners on the cube, there's only an eighth of the anion that's inside of the cube. So if we take all eight of these and multiply by one eighth, which is inside the cube, we get a factor of one. For the face anions, half is inside of the cube. So we multiply the half times six because of the six faces, and we get three. One plus three equals four, so we know that we need four cations to balance out the charges. So where do we place these cations? These cations are going to be placed throughout the tetrahedral holes within this FCC structure. We know that there's four cations. So the first cation is going to be placed in the front left bottom portion of the cube. The second one is going to be placed at the back right of the bottom portion of the cube. And you're going to take these and flip them onto the top side. This cation here is going to be on the right side of the front of the cube. And this one is going to be on the left side of the back of the cube on the top. Here's a diagram to explain. So here I have a model of zinc blend made from toothpicks and marshmallows. The cations are represented by the pink marshmallows within the cube. So the cations are attached in more like a W shape on the top and on the bottom they're attached more like an M. So the second crystal structure we will look at is wurtzite. Wurtzite has the same chemical formula as zinc blend but has an HCP configuration rather than zinc blend CCP configuration. By having an HCP configuration, this means that the zinc cations are in all of the T sites in one of two T layers. And for the zinc blend, the zinc cations are in half of the T sites in each of the two T layers. Even though zinc blend and wurtzite have the same chemical formula, all that really matters is the configuration of the anions and cations within the crystal structure, which defines each material. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy. That's all, folks.